I'm going to Disney World for the first time ever as an adult. I have been there before, but I was a very little kid. I don't remember any of it. And I'm pretty much considering this my first visit. I am so excited, but you know I had to do some shopping. So let's take a look at everything I got. If this is your first time with me, welcome. My name is May. I create content all over the internet about everything that I love. Planning, fashion, lifestyle, travel is top of my list. And I am thrilled to be going to Disney World. I'm actually going to a retreat with other content creators. So it is going to be so fun, but I am definitely a type A, I love to plan and research things. And I'm also just a really big shopper. So I had to get some new things for this trip. I've broken it down into two different categories. So one are just things that I bought that are kind of more general for travel. I did buy them specifically for this trip, but I will be using them for other trips. And then I bought some specific Disney things as well. One more thing before I get started, please, as you're watching this video, if you think of anything that I haven't mentioned that you think that I need, leave me a comment, let me know. I am definitely a Disney newbie, so I want all of your tips, your tricks, things that you wish you had in the parks or that you traveled with. I am definitely open to your suggestions, so please leave a comment and let me know. Starting with the general, I grabbed these tennis shoes. I have been seeing these all over the internet. They are known as the European Cool Girl sneakers. They're a little bit chunkier. They have this really fun silver metallic detail. I already broke into them and started wearing them because I just could not resist. And I really do feel super cool when I wear them. I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking around the parks. My motto is gonna to be to just be comfortable, but I do still want to look good as well. So I was so excited when I was able to grab these. I just checked it as of filming, these are still on sale. So I'm gonna link them below. They are super comfortable. I think that they are so on trend and chic and cool. So if you've been wanting a new pair of shoes to walk around the parks, and I think these are great with just every day, wear them with dresses, wear them with matching sets, sweatshirts, leggings, it's the best. I did also get a brand new Away suitcase. If you missed my video, I did an unboxing and initial review of the suitcase. I'm so excited to travel with it. So again, while I did buy that for this trip, it's something that I will get to use over and over again. I also grabbed a new water bottle. I am definitely an Awala girl. I know that Stanley's have made a big comeback, but I just love these Awalas because you can lock them and they are just super tight. You know they're not gonna spill. You can just throw it in your park bag. I ended up getting this 16 ounce, which is marketed towards kids, but I have the 20 ounce, I have a 30 ounce, I have a 40 ounce, and I just thought the 16 is a little bit smaller and more compact. This color is called Princess Party, I believe. I knew it had princess in the name. So I was like, yeah, this is gonna be perfect for Disney. Another general travel item that I ordered, it hasn't come in yet, but I wanted to mention it because it's such a unique thing and I am so excited to try them out. So these are the Elastic leggings and they have little compression, little bubbles inside of them and they're supposed to be incredible incredible to wear on the plane. They are compression leggings. You can wear them just as everyday leggings as well. They are supposed to help with a variety of different things. You know, if you get bloating or just uncomfortable on the plane, these are supposed to be amazing for travel. They are an investment, but because I do travel and because a lot of people um, that I have seen just wear them on a regular daily basis as well, I decided to make the investment. I'll do a full review when they come in, but again, because I ordered them for this trip, I wanted to mention it and I'll have everything linked down below. All right, let's get into the things that I ordered specifically for Disney. I've got a whole pile of bags down here. We're just gonna start opening them and see what I got. Oh, I am excited 
excited about these. So my style when it comes to Disney, I mean, again, this is my first trip, but as I've kind of been researching, watching my own YouTube videos and checking things out, I've noticed that there seems to be a wide variety of outfits that people wear to the parks. And while I love a good theme, my style when it comes to Disney specifically, I think is a little more subtle and understated. I don't think I'm really going to be doing Disney bounding or anything like that. I think my style will be just a little bit more minimal. So I was searching and wanted to find some, again, very comfortable clothes um, that were still kind of cute and on theme. Also, before I show you these two shirts, can you guys tell me in the comments in I'm going in October, should I expect to wear biker shorts or leggings? Like, is it going to be hot there or cold? What is the general vibe in like the beginning of October? I have ordered, um, like, like I said, those elastic leggings, which I can wear daily. I plan to wear those on the plane, but then I also have my favorite ultimate biker shorts. Um, I get them on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. They feel like they are incredible high end luxe quality, but they are super affordable. So tell me which one of those should I take? Should I take both? Is it going to be hot? Is it going to be rainy? Do I need to order something different? Let me know. So my plan is to just wear biker shorts or leggings with a t-shirt during the day. As I mentioned, I am going for a retreat. So there are some events that are planned and I kind of need to look at the schedule and see if I need any nicer outfits. I also don't think I have time to order from any of like the small shops on Etsy, but I want some more like kind of fun customized shirts. I think for my next trip, that will be my MO, but for now, again, I just wanted some cute t-shirts that were um, a little more subtle. So I grabbed this one. I think it's this so cute. It is super soft. I did size up so it would be oversized. And what I love about this is that it's cropped, but from what I could tell, it's not too cropped at all. Because I am short, if I get oversized t-shirts that are just like regular link, they seem to swallow me up and they're just way, way too long. So I actually like cropped t-shirts because as long as I kind of double check and make sure they're not too cropped, they actually end up just being like a nice normal length on me. So I thought this one was so cute. I love the vintage Mickey. It looks a little distressed and just a really cute, simple option. And then I did also get this one. This is a men's t-shirt and it just has a small little Mickey in the upper left hand pocket area. I thought this would be cute. Again, very simple. I did order a pair of ears that maybe I will wear with them, but I just want to keep it sleek, simple, and minimal. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll show you guys this. I didn't get this specifically for the trip, but I did end up getting brown mascara. This is a total side note from Disney content, but um, this ended up being in my packages. So I thought I'd show it to you guys anyway. Have you seen the new trend where we're not wearing mascara? It's just like plain clean lashes. Well, I like mascara. So I decided to ease my way into this trend by getting brown mascara. So I'm gonna try this and see what I think. Um, let me know, are you guys embracing this trend? This is actually another general travel item, but I am planning to use this some days in the parks. This is a quilted backpack. I've had my eye on the MZ Wallace one for quite some time, but if you have checked out that backpack, it is over $300 and I just wasn't sure that I was ready to commit to a backpack for over 300. I mean, I didn't even pay that much for my away suitcase. So I found this affordable alternative. It looks very similar and I am just now like seeing it and feeling it for the first time. And I'm so impressed my initial reviews of the quality of this. So I did buy this again as a general item, but I plan to travel with this. We'll probably use it um, in the parks some days. You guys tell me, is this too big? Do I need this backpack? I just, I love it. I think it's so cool and chic. Reminds me a lot of the MZ Wallace, but at a much, 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 much better price point. 
how cute are these ears? I love that they are sequin and leopard. Leopard is so on trend for fall. And I just wanted, again, simple, but a little fun and a little pizzazz. So I thought these were great. I don't honestly know how much I will wear them, but I thought they would be a fun little addition to my outfits. I did get them off Amazon. I will link them down below for you along with everything that I'm sharing. Next up, I got this large crossbody fanny pack and this huge lot of patches. I've had my eye on the Stony Clover crossbody fanny pack, the jumbo size for a while now, but because I wanted to customize it and put one of these Disney patches on it, I didn't really want to invest in the large Stony Clover. It is a really pricey bag. So I decided to just go with this more affordable option. I'm really impressed with the quality. It has beautiful gold hardware, it feels really substantial, and the patches are really cute as well. I'm going to do just this simple tone on tone. I'm gonna use this black Mickey, has this fun little Sherpa. I love the gold detailing. Again, I think it looks great with the gold hardware on this fanny pack. Okay, this is officially the item I am most excited about. How stunningly beautiful is this Mickey patchwork tote from Vera Bradley? This again was a pretty pricey item, but I just had to have it. I think it looks really classic and it's not one of these like trendy pieces like the fanny pack that I will get over quickly. I think this is an item that I will have for a long time. Again, it was pricey, but for some reason I just felt so drawn to this tote. I think it's just a really beautiful, minimal look. And I think the quilting is just very chic and classic. It does have the Mickey heads on it, but I just think that they blend really nicely. I originally was thinking to use this for my under the seat personal item, but now that I'm looking at it in person, I think that it might be just a little bit too small. So we'll see as I start packing. I think this is definitely going to have to be a two-part video because I already have more items on the way. So let me know if you wanna see what else I ordered. Like I said, I am definitely a newbie when it comes to Disney. So I'd love to hear your ideas, your tips, your tricks. If you enjoy Disney content along with some Amazon finds, travel, lifestyle, fashion, I hope that you will subscribe. I'm just starting my Disney journey, but I look forward to taking you along with me. I will be vlogging on my trip, so I'll be sure to share more. You can find me all over the internet at May Loves That. I hope that you will subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you real soon.